How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a health question. There is not one supplement out there that is more widely consumed than protein powder. Whether that be in the weight room, the locker room, or within walking distance from a gym, you are very likely to see at least one person holding some sort of protein shake. And those who drink them either swear by it themselves or have had someone else endorse it as a vital component to build muscle. But to see strength gains, is that chocolatey peanut butter, cookies and cream, or French vanilla shake really 100% necessary? In this video, I am going to answer this question based on what science has shown. If you are interested to see where I'm pulling my information from, feel free to check out the description below. And without further delay, Let's get started. Protein is essential to build muscle. And if you don't consume enough of it, you're not going to see any results. It's like trying to build a brick wall without any bricks. Or an elite hockey team without any elite players. A 2012 review article out of the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition assessed data from 22 studies that looked at varying levels of protein supplementation. They concluded that protein supplementation is the most effective way to build lean muscle mass and increase muscle strength after resistance training. And there have been a boatload of studies out there that not only stress this, but also stress the importance of when you consume the protein between your workouts. A study published in the Journal of Nutritional Science saw rats who consumed protein one hour after exercise gained 6% more muscle and had lost 24% more adipose tissue than rats who consumed protein four hours after resistance training. Another 2006 study suggested that consuming protein one hour before and one hour after your workouts was more effective at increasing lean muscle mass and strength than solely consuming it before or after. So in order for your body to take advantage of this time frame, it needs a protein source that can be ingested, digested, and absorbed quickly. And the protein shake has been a very popular way to do it. But instead of spending big bucks on fancy protein powders, couldn't you just eat real food that's high in protein? Let's take a closer look. The simple answer to this question is yes. Egg whites, milk, and lean tenderized meats are all great examples of fast digesting protein sources that would have essentially the same effect as if you consumed a protein shake. But consider this, how much work is it to cook a chicken breast, package it up, find a fridge to keep bacteria off of it while you work out, then you have to heat it up after your workout, and then find a civilized place and way that you can eat it. Compare that to making a protein shake. To a lot of people, including myself, the convenience factor is a greater priority than saving a few bucks on real food. So back to the original question. Are protein shakes necessary to build muscle? To maximize strength gains, it is important to choose a protein source that can be quickly ingested, digested, and absorbed both before and after your workouts. And this can be done with real food. So simple answer, no. Protein shakes are not necessary to build muscle. But if you are looking for a quicker, more convenient, and in some cases, tastier alternative, you cannot go wrong with a protein shake. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. 
And if you'd like to see me make more content, feel free to subscribe and hit the big red button right below me. I release new videos every week. And while you're at it, feel free to check out some of my previous videos as well. Just one click on them and it'll take you right there. In any case, thank you all so much for watching, and stay strong. Thank you.